FNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a very beautiful Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we sort of have a sea of red out there. All the U.S. indices that we track trading to the downside. Dow's down 385 points. That's 1%. 1% for the S&P, or 58 points. 1.5% for the NASDAQ, 100, 270 points. 1 and a quarter percent for the Russell, 26 points. Nearly 3% for the semis, 141 points there. Trend is down 222, 1.5%. Gold is up 3%. That's a $71 move. Silver's up 5%, $1.50. Lights recruiters is up 2 and 7 tenths percent, 2 and a quarter. Natural gas is flat. 30 year treasury is up nearly one point, printed out at 116.07. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES mini upper left hand side. We've got an inside bar as we speak right now. We're just trading inside yesterday's trading range out there, which is kind of interesting because if you take a look at the spot volatility, it is trading above yesterday's high and it's taking out a descending trend line out there. Hmm, something to think about. If we take a look at the NQ, still consolidating with inside its bull, its uh, profile out there. It has support at 18163, resistance at 18555. It's got a TD9 count bottom, and that support levels at 18051. US dollar index is on a roll. We talked about that yesterday. Its price target, initial price target, 10653. What are the odds that it stops there? Eh, pretty small. Why? You've got a 41% uh, retracement on that B to C leg. Price along the C to D line, well on the left hand side there u.s dollar index should head up more towards the 107.32 level we're in one of those interesting times we talked about at the end of yesterday's show this year we have the s p trading above last year's high we have gold doing the same we have uh um the u.s dollar doing the same thing it does happen out there uh, and it is happening now. In the case of Goldilocks and silver, they are likely going to go ahead and both negate their daily TD9 count tops. They still have weekly patterns, or at least gold has a weekly pattern out there, uh, for us just to pay attention to. If we take a look at Lights Recruit, it's trying to take out its TD9 count top. It'll accomplish that task with a close above 87.63. 87.63 is both its TD9 count top and top of its daily profile. In the case of natural gas out there, it's testing support. It's the buy zone of its daily structured profile. There's really just a concern consolidation pattern that's going on out there. The support level is down at 1.731. And finally, looks like we will have a Gartley buy pattern in a 30-year treasury. Nice bullish engulfing as of 11.02. Assuming that that candle formation is there at today's close, you should see a rally up towards the 118, 119 level. Folks, please stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you have to start your Friday, please have a fabulous and a fantastic weekend. And we'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.